Hi, Mitchell from EastEnders. Hi, Max. Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, it looks lovely and sunny in your garden. I oh, know, you've got to make the most of it. You never know when it's going to go. Yeah, get the evening sun. So, yeah, I mean, we'll talk EastEnders in a minute, but we just had a film there about pubs. Are you missing your local? Oh, God, yeah. I, a pub garden is what I'm missing. Yeah. In yes. the sun yeah. now. Well, when, yes, when... I can't wait. When's the Queen Vic likely to open its door? In other words, EastEnders, how oh, are you God. going to adapt to all of this? Well, I think, you know, I mean, that's that's really a question for the bosses in terms of how we're going to do it. But I think I think the most important thing is health and safety at this point. You know, it's paramount. So until, you know, they're absolutely certain that we are entirely safe and, and you know, it's all going to work smoothly, I, you know, we've got to wait and see. Yeah, quite right. So let's talk then about tonight's episode. Now, it's incredible. Um, it's a first in soap history. Just tell the viewers then a bit about what they can expect on this evening's episode. So, yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's groundbreaking. And it is, I guess, as you say, a first in, in soap history. We're, we're doing a kind of POV episode of, of, of Ben uh, post uh, the boat crash and now his, his hearing loss. And... Um, you know, it really is the the way that we've we've worked with different charities like the National Deaf Children's Society, and and you know I spoke to so many, so many people from the deaf community to make this story happen, and we're going to see it all unfold and and kind of get a glimpse of what it's like to be deaf in the world. The episode tonight is so different to any other we've seen before. You'll see why in a minute. We've got a bit of an exclusive clip to show you right now, where you meet Phil, your dad, in the calf to discuss an upcoming dangerous job. Sorry. You heard from Danny? <laughs> I've arranged a car, untraceable. Why? Here. Let's go on. Like you say, Max, it is the point of view of Ben. It's it's actually quite an intense, quite a tough watch tonight, isn't it? Yeah, I, th I think the story in general is very intense. You know, Ben's Ben's always been a very layered character. He's he's not you know he's not your norm. Um, and I think he's he's lost so much in in what's happened with his hearing that that he's trying to make up for things. And and you know it it, it shows the boundaries that he now has. And you know with the, with the work that they've done with the subtitles and 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 the kind of the BSL and and incorporating different communication methods. It really, really does tell the story well, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of it. Mm. Now, your character is obviously a murderer. He's got a bit <laughs> of a temper, yeah. to put it mildly. Double crossing. Um, but you, you are a real softy, um, because we know that you took a very special lady to the National Television Awards. We've got a picture of you both here, <laughs> you and your date. It's your grandma, I can't even see it. I'm jealous. Oh, I see it's the a picture. really nice picture. You look lovely. You've got this amazing suit oh, on. Mm. In a good way, like Rupert the Bear. <laughs> Ruth, put the bit. Okay, I'll take it. It's like, fine. lovely. I'll, 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 uh, but I'll you, wear you that. bought your gran um, a really nice <laughs> gift, didn't you, during lockdown? Tell us about that. Yeah, I did. I, I saw this amazing video um, of of this uh, this young carer giving this this pillow um, to this to this man who was in in a care home of um, of his late wife. Um, and I, I haven't seen my nan for a long time, and I was, I was kind of, you know, we're missing each other, and all you get to do is, is FaceTime. So I thought I'd send her, a, I thought I'd send her the same thing of my, of my grandfather who passed a few years back. So um, yeah, it, it sits centre stage, I believe, in her living room. So she's very proud of it as well, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Great Aww. stuff. Oh, you big softy. Oh, um, I know. You, you, you're t tormenting me here. <laughs> oh. Um, one last thing. We hear that you're really good at the duff duffs. <laughs> so um, we were wondering <laughs> whether dust you dust. could help us deliver a piece of very dramatic news. Are you ready? Um, I'm, I was born ready. OK, cool. Here we go. You know when work? to come in. I'll make it obvious. Ready? Oh. Right, here we go. She won't. Right, you can watch the EastEnders Ben Mitchell special tonight on BBC One at... <laughs> Ten past eight. Oh, yes! <laughs> We told you it was dramatic because usually <laughs> it's on at eight. There you go. Did that did that work? We're not even sure. It worked for me. <laughs> You're a good sport, Max. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers, guys. Take care. Top man. Oh, thanks, Max. Oh, he's lovely, he isn't he? Is so yeah.